Welcome to another episode of Pentatet Basics, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to add some basic effects. First, I'm gonna show you how to change the brightness and contrast of an image. So these two, as you can see, both of them are from the same place, but this one is way brighter, so I want this image to be as bright as this one. So I wanna go to this image, so I wanna go to adjustments. Don't worry about this, I just have a lot of plugins installed, but here, brightness and contrast. So here you can adjust it, so it's uh, similar to, uh, well, what we're trying to replicate. <laughs> it is very bright now, but I'm just gonna try to replicate it. Something like that. It's pretty similar now, but I think uh, I want to add some, uh, some saturation. So go to adjustments, and down here, hue and saturation. Up it a little bit, you don't want to go overboard. So just up it a little bit, that. So now it's definitely more bright. Of course you can tweak it to get it more accurate to this. I think that's a little bit closer actually. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I just wanted to show brightness and contrast. So the next image we have here, it's, uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a lantern with a lot of snow. And here in the history I just tried a few things, ignore that. What I want to show is um, how to change the temperature of uh, the image, so it can be more cold or more warm. I'm not going to use any plugins in this video, so this method is a bit uh, different if you're used to using a plugin. Anyway, so what you want to do is add a new layer, then uh, pick the color you want. Since this is snowy, I want it to be cold, so I want blue because blue is cold. Then I'm gonna pick the paint bucket tool and then make sure you are on the second layer and then just left click on the image. And now we just have a blue color here. So now go to properties down here and then set the blend mode to overlay. And this will overlay the blue color on top of the image. And now it's very blue so we want to, we want to tweak the opacity a bit. Now it kind of looks like it's more cold and well, <laughs> now it looks more cold. So if you want to do the same thing but uh, warmer, you probably want to choose uh, something like orange. Now it's more warm. Or maybe, I don't know, magenta or maybe green to mix it up. So just play around with this to see what looks kind of neat. Kind of like that. So now I want to go to the third image. So now I want to make this uh, black and white and add some noise. So first, well it doesn't matter which order really, but we're gonna go to effects and go to noise and add noise. And here we can tweak, well, how we want it. So we can increase intensity if we want it really noisy. I kind of, I want it to be quite noisy, so around here. And the color saturation won't matter because we will take out the color anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And by the way, this is uh, the reset button. So if you have it somewhere and then you can just reset it. So, okay. And now we're gonna make it black and white. So go to adjustments and black and white. That's it. So this looks kind of like an old image, but if you really want an old image look, uh, we're gonna undo, go back to go back in history. Uh, we're gonna go to effects, photo, and here we have a lot of stuff. Don't ignore the puzzle pieces. Those are plugins, as I said before. But if we go to soft and portrait, so this uh, tries to get the look of uh, an old portrait. But I'm gonna redo this. So the final thing I want to show is just how to add blur, which is very simple. Just go to effects, blurs, and Gaussian blur. That's it. <laughs> but there are other blurs, if we go to blurs again, like motion blur, unfocus, zoom blur, surface blur, and all you need to know really is Gaussian blur, that's the standard blur you, you're probably familiar with, and the unfocus is, uh, it tries to mimic uh, when, when the camera is out of focus, it, it looks more like a real camera. So this looks more like a real camera than just simple Gaussian blur. It's hard to tell here, but it is different. And after watching this video, you can try you can try to do these effects and play around with the, the other effects I didn't show. Uh, there are only a few more, but I have installed a lot, of, a lot more. <laughs> so yeah, I have way more than you probably have. So that's it for the video. It was quite a simple tutorial, but this is Paint.net basics. It's the basics of Paint.net. Last time I showed how to use layers, and uh, the first episode I showed the interface and that stuff. And that's it for the video, so thanks so much for watching and bye!